Hi, my name is Dan. I live outside of Indianapolis. And this November, I'm going to be voting for Joe Biden for president, which is something that I never thought that I would be saying six years ago when Joe Biden was Barack Obama's vice president. I honestly never thought that I would miss Barack Obama as president. But here we are after four years of just straight up nonsense from Donald Trump. And that's really the only way I can describe it. And truthfully, before the 2016 election, I was a Republican for probably close to 20 years, even before I actually had the right to vote. And voting for a Democrat, the idea was so foreign to me that in 2014, when Iowa, where I was living at the time, ran two candidates that I just couldn't stomach either Bruce Braley or Joni Ernst, I wrote in my wife because I just couldn't deal with either one. But when Donald Trump ran for president in 2016, I couldn't do that. My vote was just too important to toss a vote away. So I bit the bullet and I voted for Hillary Clinton. And at the start of 2016 in January, I was actually knocking doors for Carly Fiorina's campaign in Iowa. It was single digit temperatures some days and myself and several other volunteers and paid canvassers were out there knocking a hundred doors a day. And honestly, the reason that I did that was because Donald Trump offended me so much that I wanted to show that the Republican party was better than that. I thought we had a great list of candidates for the Republican nomination in 2016 I would have been very happy to vote for the likes of John Kasich, Marco Rubio, several others before, with the exception of Kasich, they proved themselves to be simply spineless and they just decided to bow to Donald Trump when the chips fell. And quite honestly, I felt betrayed by the entire party. And When the time came to cast my vote, it was actually not that hard to vote for Hillary Clinton because even though I disagreed with her on quite a bit, those were normal disagreements that happen in any functioning um, republic. With Donald Trump, the things he says are just so ridiculous and so far out there that it just makes you want to scream, scratch your head, wonder what in the world is going on in this. And I'm tired of it. I just want all this to end. I want a president who actually loves America, actually has some sense of normalcy, doesn't um, take delight in just attacking everyone who's um, disagreeing with him, has actually read the Constitution, will actually listen to logic, And all of that describes Joe Biden. I'm going to disagree with Joe Biden on plenty. I mean, that's just the nature of um, this election. I know that I'm going to have several disagreements politically with Joe Biden over the next four years, if God willing, he's our next president. But I'm okay with that because at the end of the day, I know that Joe Biden is a decent, moral, patriotic man who Even when I disagree with him, he's going to do what he thinks is best for America, not for himself. And that's something I've never once been able to say about Donald Trump. There is simply no way that we can elect this man again. I didn't vote for him in 2016. I'm sure as heck not going to vote for him now. And I encourage you to, even if it's just this once, put aside partisan loyalty and vote for Joe Biden, because quite frankly, this isn't the party of Lincoln. This isn't the party of Reagan. They wouldn't have recognized anything that Donald Trump bomb is. And quite frankly, no president would have recognized what Donald Trump has done to the office. We have to get him out of office. We have to get Joe Biden in. Please remember to go vote this November.